does actually look slightly better than the Australian yen. And again, it's because what what's people are expecting with the Australian, so they're not. But this is okay, but it hasn't broken. The, the, it hasn't fulfilled the big range day, so this trade is very easy. This is the high of the day, so we're buying it above 84.76. And if we do, we'll place our stop below the market side, which is 84. 45. And the next structure long point remains intact. The 88.23 remains the same. I'm going to go check that. short side, let's see what we're going to do with the short side. Let's take it, again, I'm doing this, I'm making some changes in the process simply because I'm taking into the consideration the event of something might be coming up, so I'm going to use short below 83.92. show point is All these might be slightly different stops than what we're accustomed to. Again, we're looking at some knee-jerk reaction that will take place, will, may take place today. So we just have to be uh, careful. That's why, I mean, it's not necessary to trade the New Zealand and the Aussie today. You have all the other ones that we can trade, okay? So we're buying the New Zealand yen above 84.76. Our structure long point 86.39 and our stop is 84.45. On the short side, we're going to go short below 83.92. Our stop is going to be 84.20 and the structure short point is 80.52. Okay, that is the New Zealand yen. 
Let me save that. 